Number 24, perform the following calculations. It's easy enough. And then we have letter A. Calculate the AG plus concentration in a saturated aqueous solution of ABR, or AGBR. So we're talking about saturation. This is for solubilities, right? So saturation, or a saturated aqueous solution, is basically telling you what's the minimum amount that is going to dissolve from this solid compound. AGBR uh, is going to start as a solid and dissociate into its ions. So let's first write that out. AGBR, that's a solid, will come to equilibrium, because we're dealing with, you know, solubility products and K values, into its two ions. The break is obviously between the AG and the bromine. So AG plus BR. We need charges in the upper right-hand corner. Silver, which is AG, is one of those ones that are transition metals that only has one oxidation state, which is a plus one. And halides, such as bromine, if it's in an ionic equation, it's always going to be a minus one. It's in group 7A. Um, since we have charges, these are aqueous. And I'm looking at the equation, and it's already balanced for us, so we're good to go here. The thing that we needed to pull up uh, from the back of the textbook is the KSP number of the AGBR. So I went and did that for you guys. So the KSP value uh, for the AGBR is 5.0 times 10 to the negative 13th. Now let's just get the formula that fits this equation. Here it is, right? KSP equals just the products raised to the coefficients. No solids allowed, so therefore we don't use them, right? So in our case, it would be KSP equals the concentration of AG plus times BR minus. We have to raise them to the coefficients, but they're both uh, one, right? There's no coefficient in front of here or here. So that just means that there's one of them. So you can raise them to the first, but it doesn't really matter. The KSP value is 5.0 times 10 to the negative 13th, but I don't know what these concentrations are. So we just have to use variables. I say I don't know what I have for AG+, plus, right? In my saturated solution, there's no common ions here. So I'm just going to label this as x. And it should be corresponding with the coefficient. So this would be 1x. But 1 times x is the same as x. And then the same for here. This would just be x. And these are your values that you're going to plug in into your equation. So AG plus is X and BR minus is X. So 5.0 times 10 to the negative 13th. This equals, we have basically X times X, but X times X is just X squared. So I can just say that, right? And then just solve for x, I could take the square root of both sides. And then we'll find out what x is. So square root of 5 times 10 to the negative 13th is, I guess, 2 sig figs, 7.1 times 10 to the negative 7th. And that's molarity, because we're dealing with concentration values. So now they just wanted to calculate the ag plus. So I just go back to my balanced equation, and I notice that AG plus is just the X value. So I can say the concentration of AG plus, which was X, and that's what this was. 7.1 times 10 to the negative 7th molarity. And that is the answer for the first part. Okay. So... Stay tuned. I think there's two other parts which will be coming up. So if you guys are on the playlist, which I highly recommend you guys are, uh, we'll be getting to that in about five seconds. Okay. I'll talk to you in a few. Thank you. Bye-bye.